hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video if this is your first time on this channel my name is Vanessa I make natural hair videos just like this one and also lots of DIYs so if you're interested be sure to click that subscribe button and become a member of the family and if you're returning thank you so much for your support I really appreciate it so let's get into today's video guys I'm going to show you how you can use fenugreek seed on its own to promote hair growth um, so the first way we're going to do that is basically as use it as a leave-in spray You know when you actually spray your hair and then put your leave-in conditioner and then your oil You can actually use that as that spray pretty much the way to do that is basically soak a bit of fenugreek seed with in water and then I added a bit of MSM powder here, but you don't have to do that. You can just just add the seed That's it and then you want to let it sit for about 24 hours to infuse um so once it has infused the water will turn from clear to gold and the seed will double in size that's how you know that it's ready you now want to go ahead and sieve that using a sieve or perhaps a tea towel or anything that you got pretty much that you can sieve something with and then um, put the water in your spray bottle and then you're ready to use that as your leave-in spray so perhaps if you're moisturizing your hair instead of using water just use this spray that onto your scalp as well and massage that in and yeah it will hopefully help you grow your hair very weak seed have been shown to uh, promote hair growth because it's high in iron and protein which are two essential nutrients for hair growth they also contain a unique composition of plant compounds including flavonoid and saponins and these are compounds that are presumed to induce high growth due to their anti-inflammatory and anti-fungal properties so essentially they do help in promoting a healthy scalp and we all know healthy scalp means good environment for hair to grow so that's pretty much it really you can just use that as your leave-in spray like i said the second way basically is to use it as a deep conditioning mask i already have on my channel a fenugreek deep conditioning mask you can check that out but i did add other stuff to that one like aloe vera um but you don't necessarily need to do that uh, this the purpose of this video basically was just to show you how you can just use fenugreek seed on its own to promote your hair growth so we're just going to use fenugreek seed alone so i'm using the seed from the last diy that you've just watched on how to make your fenugreek spray so i'm using that seed that was already soaked and had doubled in size if you're starting from scratch you can do it this way or you can boil your, your seed for perhaps a few minutes just to soften it and then put it in your blender and blend it now i'm not using my normal diy blender here because i noticed last time when i made my fenugreek seed uh, fenugreek dip conditioner that it wasn't blending as as well so it wasn't as smooth so i just went ahead and i used my normal powerful blender that i use for the family um to blend it straight up because i just felt like last time it gave me a much better texture um, so one thing to be aware of when you're blending your fenugreek seed is that you need to add water as you're blending because as you're blending it the texture gets thicker and thicker and you know it might be a bit difficult for the teeth of your blender to get through so make sure that you have water on hand just to top up as you go along you can actually um, add as much water as you want until you end up with a nice smooth consistency or you can just blend it how I did here until you know it's fully blended the thing as well is if you add too much water then it's not going to you know blend it so well um, so I was a bit careful with that mine was still a bit thick after I finished blending that's why you're going to see me adding some water here just so I can get a lighter consistency to apply to my hair um, so but if yours is light inconsistency directly from your from your blender you don't need to do this you can just go ahead and use it straight up okay guys so at this point you can actually go ahead and strain it if you want to you can use a tea towel or a pair of old tights or stocking cap like anything you can save it just to get rid of you know the things that can get stuck in your hair um but I, I didn't really feel like i really needed it because it was nice and smooth i felt like my blender did blend it quite well 
um, but like I said you can definitely go ahead and strain it if you are to strain it perhaps make the consistency a little bit lighter so that it's easier to um, to strain it okay um, so yeah that's pretty much it I did not record how I apply this to my hair guys because I already have a video on my channel about how I apply my uh, fenugreek mask I think it's my it's the video I posted just before this one guys so i took a footage of my last video just in case you haven't watched it just to show you how you can actually apply this mask to your hair um so essentially you just want to spray your hair with a little bit of water and then apply the mask to it just like you would normally apply a conditioner to your hair and then twist it up and pretty much do that for the rest of your hair and once you've done all of it you now want to put your a plastic cap on or a heat cap like anything that you normally have that can provide heat to your hair so pop that on it let it sit for about one to two hours just so you know it can actually your hair can actually absorb some of the nutrients and then you want to go ahead and rinse it off so and then after you rinse it off go ahead and seal in your moisture so you can now use that spray if you want to or you can just put in put on your leave-in conditioner and then your oil and then that's pretty much it so i usually try to do a deep conditioning mask on my hair once a month you can do it maybe once every week if you can um yeah just do it how often you feel your hair needs needs it but i mean if i'm really really lazy i'm really really tired i usually would just try and do it once a month i think it's really good for your hair so yeah that's pretty much it for this one guys now the third way i use fenugreek seed to grow my hair is basically as a growth oil now the way to make the oil is quite simple so you just want to pop some seed in your in a bowl and then you want to add in olive oil you can use any oil of your choice here you can add coconut oil argan oil basically like anything that you've got available you know and yeah and then what you want to do now is blend it i tried to blend it the first time using my hand blender guys and then i realized how silly i was thinking that i was going to blend it so yeah it was an epic fail so basically i transferred that to my normal diy blender and i was able to blend it to the best that i could obviously it wasn't you know perfect because i still had some seeds that were on unblended but some of them were blended which was fine so you now want to transfer that into back back into the bowl and then you want to put uh, a pot on fire with water in it and then um pop it in the in, in the water and let it boil for about 30 minutes now you need to um maybe stir every now and again but you don't necessarily need to you can just let it you know sit there for 30 minutes and then take it off the fire let it cool down now you notice here i added some more olive oil because i just felt like there wasn't enough um but you can add as much as you want really or as little as you want depending on the quantity of the oil that you want to make you don't necessarily need to do it this way as well what you can do is basically pop the seeds in a jar perhaps put some oil in it and then close it and let it sit somewhere in your house for about a month so that the seed the oil can infuse pretty much and you can use it that way but because i wanted to use mine really quick i just thought this was quite convenient you know to do it this way and still get the benefits so yeah so basically you just want to let it sit for a few minutes just to cool down and then you're ready to strain it i actually left mine to sit there for one week um to be honest it's just because i was really busy and i completely forgot that i had my old there to be honest <laughs> oh my god until my husband was like you did this oil and you left it here you're not going to use it again because it was cleaning i was like oh crap i forgot my oil so yeah um i left mine for about one week but you don't have to you can just go ahead and strain it immediately so i strained it here using a sieve but then i realized that i had some stuff at the bottom bottom of my oil and i didn't really like that so i used a tea towel just so i could drain it a bit better so yeah that's pretty much it 
I ended up with a much clearer oil so once you've done that now you want to go ahead and pop that in a bottle um, I bought quite a few of these bottles from the pound shop just so I could store my oils in it um, so you can easily find them in the pound shop if you're in the UK or maybe Amazon as well I'm sure we have something similar I had finished transferring it into the bottle and I was ready to, to add in my essential oils but you don't have to do this you can just use it straight up like that uh, but because I wanted to use it as a growth oil I thought I would add in some essential oils so I'm using tea tree oil here I added about six drops of tea tree oil to the mixture you can add as much as you want or as little as you want if you are going to do it like me and then I also went ahead and I added a few drops of peppermint oil. I don't know exactly how many drops I added here guys because the first time I tried to do it, a lot of it came out at once and then, you know, it took me a very long time to get another drop out and I was just like, you know what, I'm done. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how many drops I added to this. But then once you've done that guys, shake, close the bottle, shake, shake it all together and then you're ready to apply it. You can use it as a growth oil by just massaging that to your scalp or actually massage it to those areas that you're trying to regrow. Let's say if you've got like areas that are a bit thin, you can use it there. So this is pretty much it for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos if you're not already and also leave a comment okay if anything wasn't clear in this video i'm very happy for you to leave a comment in the comment section i read them all and i will try to answer them as much as i can and yeah don't forget to share with your friends and your family as well and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching do take care bye